So I went back and got some ammo and shit. Decided not to. I just got know, here. Backtrack. Yeah, you just got here. It's a Friday. You literally walked in the door. It's yeah. It's Friday of. It's Friday, Friday. You. You're gonna get a suit. You're gonna get sued on Friday. <laughs> Look what you did to me. I've used the helmet key. So I uh, we were talking about Resident Evil Orc, and uh, I like how now you're calling it Orc. It's just easier. I don't want to say Operation Raccoon City. <laughs> Fuck that shit. That game doesn't deserve to be called by name. Orc. Orc. So, I, I didn't, I want to bring him up by name. Yeah, look at that ominous bird. But though. a mutual friend of ours, I think it was like the second time I ever met him. I know exactly where you're going with this. I think you do, because you were probably there. Yeah. Um, I was like, I'll give him a chance. He seems <laughs> like a nice dude. And then he's like, I'm like, oh yeah, I've been playing Operation Raccoon City. He's like, oh man, the game's good. And I just looked at him like, no, I can't be friends with you. <laughs> For the record, <laughs> he has horrible taste in games. My friend likes every he likes everything Dale hates, basically. It's true. Like Dale will say, Duke Nukem's the worst. And then he'll be like, eh, it wasn't that bad. And then Dale will just cry <laughs> tears of blood like he's on from an inside. Asian horror movie. On the inside. Yeah. Uh oh yeah, I forgot I have to turn this switch yeah. off. I mean, if it makes you feel any better, I've broken him to the point that he acknowledges that 13 sucks. Oh, it does, yes. I, I was I've never played 13, so I can't even say it sucks in first hand. I've event. been reminded of how I feel about 13 because um, I've been listening back through an old podcast to try and find a couple songs that were on it once. Is it Friday? No. Gotta get down then. No. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> and they, it, the episodes I was listening to came out when 13 was out and they were talking about it. And I'm just like, ooh, man, yeah, that was. Uh, yeah. You 13. know what? I and then, found. And then Square was like, what if we just make a bunch of games about 13? Because they spent too much money making yeah. the first 13 that they needed to make sequels to recoup the cost. I, I'm actually con I'm considering getting uh, Type 0 HD. Type 0 apparently is really good. Yeah. I, I'm really glad to and, hear that. And 15 is shaping up to be really good. I saw uh, Pete play the end of the demo for 15. Oh yeah, they did their own little one. Yeah, on their, uh, on their F thing. FGL. Shout out to the FGL peeps. We gotta be like affiliates with them or something. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have a crossover episode. <laughs> yeah, we'll just have me yelling no. over everyone. No. You, know, you know what it's gonna be? Is that it's gonna be um, you, me, and Freddy playing um, the... horror games no. while Pete watches no, us no, no, and no. cries like a baby. The, uh, the really crazy uh, brawler wrestling game for the GameCube. I I've told you about this. Mm. It's the one where you play as a member of the WWE oh, who's gotten fired and you uh, team up with Stephanie McMahon to get revenge or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you fight like dock workers and construction workers. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I don't remember what that. <laughs> it's uh, I think it's I think WrestleMania, WrestleMania twenty nineteen, maybe for the GameCube. Specifically for the GameCube, yeah, because none of the <laughs> other versions are like that. By the way, Magnum, the Cold Python, mm. Cold Python. <clears throat> it's a broken butterfly. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> oh, man. Only uh, in the future. Alright, I think next we're going to the under underground passage. So I need to get the battery and the crank and then kill Colonel Mustard in the ballroom. Ah. Yeah. He deserves it. I'm really hoping you just go you go to your item box you pull out the crank and it's just jason <laughs> statham <laughs> it's just, it's he just, just yells at you he's like just, i need i need the electricity man where's my strawberry tart <laughs> <laughs> oh god you never it's knew me when i used mess. to have the crank ringtone as my ringtone ringtone <laughs> oh i because yeah. if you got the crank Two DVD. <laughs> you were able to. Tone? It came with the ringtone, so I had it for the longest time as my ringtone on my phone. Yeah, of course you did. And then eventually, I just decided that uh, I need to have the Mrs. theme as my ringtone forever. That's pretty appropriate for you. And it's, it's been on there for like years. I kid you not. Right now, mine is Attitude City by Ninja Sex Party. Take me down to the Attitude City where the ninjas are fucking. partying. Just fucking. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, 
But you know, my cra the crank theme I had on my old phone, and I s put it on there originally, so I that was like six years ago. Yeah, that was a while. That was a long time ago. Wow, How that old is cool. Crank Two. Wait, what? How old is Crank Two? Um, I don't know. It, I it's <laughs> probably two. Th I'm gonna take a guess and say 2013. 2000. 2000, no, oh, dude, two, 13. Okay. 2011. I'm gonna say it's like 2009. 2011. Wiki crank. I'm not even gonna write Wikipedia. <laughs> it's gonna bring you to the crank wiki. Oh, look at that! Wait, oh, 2009? Wow. 2009 and is the sequel to the 2006 action film wow. Crank. Yeah. yeah. I, I've told you all the crazy facts about that movie, right? Yeah. That it was supposed to be Nick Cage. That, that movie's amazing. That's the best movie. And let's face it, it's better with Jason. Because Jason Statham can pull off they want to bring action him. crazy man. Yeah. Nick Cage can't, can pull off the crazy man. I don't know if he can pull off the action-y part. Uh, a little, maybe. Like, if they just I, keep, if they What I, I do know is that um, the directors want to get him in for Crank 3. When is Crank 3 going to happen? I don't know. Because I feel like they're, they're missing the boat a little bit. They were too busy doing uh, Ghost Rider 2. They were busy too making what? Too busy making Gamer. Was that them? That was them. Oh man, that movie. I think I think that was actually in between Crank One and Two. Yes. That movie was decent. Really? I I've heard mixed. Uh, that's the thing. I at first I was just like I, at first I was just like this game look this movie looks stupid and I didn't want to watch it. and then the reviews were like eh and so I was just like whatever. Then one day when one of the blockbusters one of the I was that um. I don't know, actually. Yeah, I don't think anyone knows that <laughs> No, well, Freddy was that one like a week ago. <laughs> dude, no, dude, they're fucking dead. He might have been to like yeah. a generic video store. No, there's still some and blockbusters uh, no, um, dead. No, Alaska still has blockbuster. Because I, I think it's like four blockbusters are still open in Alaska because it's owned by a guy. Oh, that's weird. He well, just, a lot of chain places have the right to franchise. Yeah, but you, how do you franchise when your franchisor doesn't exist anymore? Hipsters. <laughs> that's Hunter his, X Hunter. That's his uh, demographic. It's <laughs> hipsters. He doesn't even sell DVDs. He just sells VHSs still. <laughs> laser disc. Oh, boy. Um, Pete doesn't know what laser discs are. You have to explain it to them. Uh, it's, it was very uncommon. Just because it was so... But I feel like people know. Like even though they're yeah. uncommon, I feel like just That's people true. know what they people are. People do know. People gotta know. It's like eight tracks. Please be a green herb. God damn it! It's blue. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Cause I, I I'm low enough health that if there are more hunters, I, I'll die. But Maybe. only one hunter. They're actually hunter, X hunter. How many times are you gonna say that? I don't stop? know. I don't even know why I'm making this joke. Because you don't even watch it? I... What's... What is... is it's it, an anime. Is it... Okay. Because I didn't know if it was an anime, if it was just a manga, or... If nah, it was it's like an anime. A, if it was, like, just random nerd shit that Coil made up one day. <laughs> Shout out awesome. to Coil. <laughs> Shout out to Coil. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna watch this and be, like, super hyped. He's like, oh, they were... Senpai noticed me. <laughs> Standing here in the rain all day. <laughs> we just opened the windshield, the window blinds. He's right there, just when, staring. When did it start raining? Uh, poor coil. <laughs> it's not even raining. He just ha he just turned your hose on. He just. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! I want to do that now. <laughs> Except, why would I? That's too much work. Yeah. So I think you just went in a circle. No, I have to go back here to turn on the crank to flood this area so the waterfall isn't in front of the cave anymore. Right. Resident Evil. It works. Stars. 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 Oh man, this is like... Remember when cranks were all rage in Resident Evil? Dude, they, they love cranks. They do. They, they like, super love cranks. There's actually a joke in uh, the deal, one of the DLCs for 5. where uh, uh, It's the one that's supposed to be... Yeah, the, Lost in Nightmare. That that's what it was, yes. Uh, wait, was that? 
Yes. That's yes. The one with okay, the, yeah. the, the mansion. No, I was trying to remember the name of the other one. Uh, the less important know. one. I don't even remember which Where one. you play as Jill and throw away character. You know, throw away character. Yeah, I, I don't even He's the guy that his entire squad gets killed by El Gigante. Oh, the black guy. Yeah. Uh, you play as him and Jill, and you, like, pull up something. Yeah. You do some Resident <laughs> Evil stuff. He's totally but, black guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. There are, there are no black people in Resident Evil, are there? Um, Who matter? Shiva? Who matter? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Do you think she's ever gonna come back? No. I'd rather see Rebecca come back before her. You know what? Billy Cohen will be back before Sheva is. That's true. <laughs> Billy Cohen. Oh god. Um. Yeah. So. Yeah. What was I saying? Oh yeah. Who, there, no, there's gotta be someone. Um. Uh, <laughs> Barry. <Jill. laughs> What good timing. A moment Barry, put on this black face. <laughs> oh, God. Go no, Barry, you can't. You can't see very well. Fried chicken. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Do you go with him? Okay, yes. Let's go. Is that how you get the good ending? Then I'm gonna cover you. Let's oh, hurry. God, that music. Hey, are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. <laughs> she doesn't say anything. Oh, yes, please. I'm a little nervous. I understand. It may be more dangerous. So I like how it took um be careful until six before any of the characters started to show any signs of like trauma. Good thing that they go through so much shit. Leon went through some shit and he just ended up stronger for it. Yeah. Meanwhile, like in six, Chris is a giant baby because his entire squad got killed. Well, <laughs> I, I was gonna say something. Then it, that is a, that is kind of spoilery to the game. He sees some shit, man. Yeah, that's true. I don't know, Chris. I feel like gets away with. <laughs> you know what? When, when you're a man who who just punches boulders, you he had to kill his boss. Yeah. Let's go together. Careful. Life for Chris is hard. Okay. Life for everyone in Resident Evil is hard. Let's hurry. Uh, Rebecca Maybe. has a pretty good life. She had to hang out with a dude that can fit a grenade launcher in his pants. To be honest, that's like 90% <laughs> of video game protagonists. That's true. I, I like in um, 6, they actually kind of show um, the, the weapon you're switching back. out. Mo for the most part. Yeah. I feel like uh, The Last of Us did a really good job of that. I still have never played The Last of Us. You should. It's a very good game. I should. I was actually talking to Mike about how like one day I'm just going to borrow that from him. Some of our mind. Uh, see, I'm gonna say yes, but at the same time, I know I'm not gonna play it right now. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah, because you know why? I started playing because a while back they had the DLC. Uh, it was the well, it wasn't. It wasn't just DLC. It was everything for Saints Row. It was on sale on PSN. Ah. So which one? All of them. Wow. Everything was on That's sale. Good sale. So, uh, because I had the original Saints Row three. And I got all the DLC from Jay, who, had, who bought the uh, this place? who bought uh, the full package. Yeah. <laughs> the best name. <laughs> oh, is that actually the name? That's that's the name of the game in the year edition. It's good. Saints Row Three full package. God damn. So yeah, since I borrowed all the, I since Saints I downloaded Row. all the DLC from his account, I didn't have any more when I switched PS threes. Right. So I just said, you know what? I'm just gonna down. I'm just gonna buy all the DLC. These tunnels. Okay. Yeah. So. uh... Yeah, and apparently the saves for Saints Row 3 are locked, so I don't have it on my new PS3. So now I'm just playing Saints Row 3 over again, because... Right. Saints Row 3 is really good. It's not like I have hundreds of games that I haven't even started yet, but I'm yeah. going to just beat Saints Row 3 again. It's cool. That's what this channel is going to be for, is that it's actually all a secret ploy to get you to finish games. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why this channel will never go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Wait for my half of the game where it takes like 20 extra sessions for me to beat Barry. Is that Jill? Is that, Jill? Is that voice on Rico's? Chris? Yeah. Sure. You're alive. You're alive. Wait, there. Wait there. Are you with anybody, Jill? Are you asking me out, Enrico? What? what? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Enrico. Enrico. Is that Billy Cohen? No. So. You know, he just put tattoos on his arm, it's Billy Cohen. <laughs> oh, he looks nothing like that in the remake. Yeah. 
He's like a sort of. He's like a somewhat Hispanic dude with a porn stash. So basically, what you're saying is they made him Enrico in the in the remake yeah, instead of just making him white guy. Oh no, he's got porn stash. He also got shot. His oh, porn no. stash couldn't save him from that bullet. <laughs> the porn stash jumps in the way of the bullet. <laughs> I love there's a. Um, I'm surprised by how actual decent Jill's face is. Yeah. Like, cause that's I think that's the first close up we've had. God damn it, Barry's investigating again. This is gonna take forever. <laughs> Barry's investigating. <laughs> Whose blood is this? This could be Enrico's blood. Enrico, he couldn't have moved because of this injury. He's a hold. <laughs> oh, he's he's holding something. He, he's, <laughs> he's a, he's hold. a holding. He's holding. Why is he holding an M a clip? Why is he not holding the gun? Well, he was about to reload it, and then, uh... <laughs> various investigation. Okay. I hear he does I, I thought he was going to have the uh, crank to get further in. He just hands you a blue Oh, there it is. <laughs> God damn it, a villain <laughs> couldn't hold on to this crank after he shot a man. Will you tank the crank? Oh, man, now you have double crank. You have crank, too. <laughs> it's a high-voltage high crank. <laughs> Oh god. Um, I love there's. I, I can't remember where I saw it. It was a. It was so an we're old, just gonna uh, name this episode Neville Dean and Taylor, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Resident Evil directed by Neville Dean and Taylor. <laughs> now with uh, 100 percent more strippers, tits deflating. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's that was the weirdest. Did, uh, part of that. did I ever tell you that they wanted to do that in the first movie, but they didn't have the right. Yeah. The they, they didn't have it in the budget. Oh no, their special effects guy couldn't make it work, and yeah. then they got a guy who did the effects of. Um, Passion of the Christ. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, stripper tit deflating? Yeah, no problem. I do that like five times in my sleep. <laughs> he just pulls up a student project. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I've already, he's like oh, I already did this like ten times. Here you go. Yeah. Oh, is there really just a safe? <laughs> it's just a typewriter in this tunnel. It's an old typewriter. If I had an ink ribbon, I could save my progress. But I don't. What a scrub. <laughs> Okay, use that crank. End is hex shape. Oh man. <laughs> How squeaky it is. That's like some weird carnival ride shit. That's the fun house. I, you go in the fun house and the intro is you turn. imagine how hard this must have been to construct? Impossible, basically. Yeah, because that's rock. <laughs> that's a rock face that they just <laughs> cut out they, a section and they somehow got turned. it out, and then crafted this. Well, in reality, think of everything no. underground in Resident Evil. You have no explanation. So, um, that Enrico scene, th there was a little, like flash animation or something that I saw a long time ago, and it was um, it was that scene where Jill, when she first walks into that room, says, "Is that Enrico's voice?" And then it says, yes, and it's the rest of me, too. <laughs> and then she walks into the room, and it's just Enrico holding up his own disembodied mouth. And it's doing all the talking. Damn it, Chris, stop punching these boulders. <laughs> Alright, it's all foreshadowing. It's all the danger. And, um, of the part... If only John Cena just busts through that door. <laughs> and he just, like, throws it into nothingness. Oh, God. But my favorite part of that is... Really? <laughs> oh, God. I love how every grenade launcher, whatever it kills, just explodes. Like, oh, okay. That's... Can't carry more items. I don't know. If there was a chest next to that goddamn top... Oh, <laughs> I'm a fire in my lasers. It really did look like that. Oh god. Um, but no, I hear think about the animation, that flash animation, is the part where Enrico gets shot, but he's still holding up his disembodied mouth. He's just like, ah. I was like, oh, that's so good. Also, in the, I'm pretty sure it was also in that animation. Oh, Tarantula. <laughs> it just explodes like crazy. That's how, uh, that's how spiders die. Oh, God! <laughs> and its babies come from its butt. That actually happens. Sometimes. I love that if you just leave and go back in, they're just all gone. Because the spiders know. He's just like, oh, humans gone? I guess they we're... couldn't. They couldn't survive without their mama. Mama, mama? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's... So, this is crazy. 
<laughs> it's just another combat, combat knife. knife. <laughs> they just give you another because you need to use it to open the door here. Well, that makes sense. Cause yeah. I, I Cause imagine somebody would have thrown it out. At this point, right? you put it in the box. I don't think you, you can't discard you items. Can't discard? No. Mm. See? So oh, you yeah, can only yeah. use it, check it, or combine it. Mm. Indeed. But no, since the item box is so far away... Yeah. This is... I like in the remake on easier difficulties, there's less webs. You can just completely bypass this fight so easy. What but, fight um, are you we talking about? <laughs> you can find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball RE. Frieza defeated.